Hey dudes, what's going on? Have you ever wanted to get your talents levels to 160? How about 200? Or maybe even 220? Of course you do. That's why you clicked on the video. Anyways, let's get into it. To start off, we need to start at the basics. We need to know how the ability to get max talent books in the first place. In construction, there's a building known as the Talent Library. Build this and it'll show up in the World 3 town, interact with it, and this is how you receive talent books to increase your max level. The search function works like this. The book genre is the class you're looking for, archer, warrior, mage, and then the subgenre are the classes, subclasses, or elite classes you're looking for, such as bowman, squire, siegebreaker, or elemental sorcerer. You'll gain a resource called checkouts that will refresh over time, and there's ways to reduce this. A max talent book requires one checkout to check out a book. Use one checkout on the talent that you want to use it on, and the book will drop on the ground. You pick it up, click and consume, and there you go. You've increased max level talent. But some talents are not be able to upgrade. For instance, Meat Shank for Squire can only be upgraded with the talent known as Blocky Bottles, which requires you to have leveled up in the second bubble of the Warrior Cauldron, aka Warrior's Rule. Main stats cannot be leveled up other than luck, for the exact same reasons. Now that we've got that covered of the basics, let's get into the juice of the video, how to get high max level books. If you take a look, the baseline of a max book is 125. You have a threshold between 101 and 125 for your baseline book before any upgrades. This is the threshold of what level you can get your book. So you can get anywhere from 104 all the way up to 125. We are gonna throw this into two sections. We're gonna have pre-world five and post-world five. Pre-World 5 is a section that basically anyone could work on and strongly suggest to do so, and World 5 is a little bit later game once you're kinda all ready and settled in. So pre-World 5. In the Merit Shop, there is a upgrade that you can buy for up to 5 upgrades that will give you plus 2 max level talent books every time, so plus 10 in total. The next section is where you're going to be sinking a lot of blue salts into your salt lick, which will give you a grand total of plus 20 to your max talent book. Super, super annoying, but super worth it. And of course, the hardest one of all, the absolute night terror of this achievement, Checkout Takeout, which requires you to check out a thousand books in order to get this and it'll reward you plus five maximum talent books. Also gives plus 30% library charge rate. And if you didn't know, library charge rate literally just reduces the timer taking for a new book. This achievement's a nightmare. You know it, I know it, we all know it, but here's a tip. You know that Skull guy in World 2? Yeah, Kilroy, that guy? That Bone Zone has a shop that for eight Skulls, you could trade it for two library checkouts. So if you're really trying to push it, you wanna make sure to spend your Skulls on that. And since we're on the topic of checkout speed percent, let's go ahead and tell you where the other sources are. Biblio Stamp from Snouts from World 3. You also have the Vile Chalker Chug, which is the Dune Souls Vile, Fortune Cookie Meal in World 4 Cooking, and the Oxygen Atom from the Atom Collider, which we'll mention later on in the video. Now that we're in pre-World 5 and we've gotten up to 160 max talent books, let's tell you how to get it up to 220. World 5, in sailing. After you've done it for some time, you'll arrive at an island known as Fungi Meadows. Fungi Meadows has an artifact called Fury Relic. The first time you unlock it, it will give you plus 25 max level talent books, but if you ancient it, you will get plus 50 in total. Yeah, I know. Insane, right? And finally, to hit off the beautiful 220, we need to unlock the last building in construction known as the Atom Collider. And the Atom, known as Oxygen, will give you plus 10 max talent level for one upgrade. And then after that, we'll increase your library refresh charge. And if you want to guarantee a max level book in construction with the Automation Arm, the last upgrade of level 5 will let you use 20 checkouts for one max level book. I would strongly suggest to do this if you're at 220, but remember, if you're doing this and you're trying to get the checkout takeout achievement, if you use this, 20 checkouts for one book will only count as one checkout. So remember that. 220 is where classes really start to pop off. But what if I told you you could get it up to 245 and maybe even higher over time? For every elite class, they have a talent known as Symbols of Beyond. And if you book it at 220, you will increase every talent up to plus 12, at least one talent point in them. And in World 5 as well, in Divinity, if you're running Arctis, aka the bear god at level 80 divinity he will give you 8.5 talent points if you run the big bubble in the yellow cauldron known as big p it increases the power of that god which is super important because the bubonic conjurer gets eight auras at 245 which just is incredible for wave clear but there's two mechanics we're missing and one of them is vip membership percent and you're wondering what is vip membership percent in the talent library once you unlock it you'll have a little sub tab at the bottom that'll let you get from an array of different star talent books from anywhere from tiptoe quickness 
which gives you movement speed, but if you hit that cap, it turns into accuracy. You can get increased HP from uber-charged health. You can also get money percent, and you can also get a very overpowered book known as Overaccurate Crit that will give you crit chance based on how much accuracy overflow you have on that mob. And yes, you can get up to like 36%. It's pretty massive, but there's a catch with the VIP membership. Not only does it cost five checkouts, the max level talent book can be as maximum as 220, but the minimum level book will always be one. So there's much bigger threshold for you to get a good book. And no, you cannot use the automation arm to guarantee a max level. So good luck. Now, how do you lock these star talents? Well, in VIP membership percent, once you hit a new threshold, a new book will be unlocked. And Overaccurate Crit is the last book up to date. Now, where do you get these VIP percent? Well, let me tell you. In World 4 Cooking, you'll get VIP percent from Garlic Bread, Sourish Fish, Orange, and Sushi Roll. Also in World 4, Pet Arena Round 1 and Round 10 would also give you VIP percent. And finally, the Sigil VIP Parchment, which will also reward VIP percent. And final mechanic is we have minimum books. So in the gem shop, you can go to burning books that will increase the minimum talent book level so you have a higher chance of getting a better threshold. And no, this does not work for VIP. Also, there's a bribe to increase it, but plus four. Honestly, I don't really rely on this stuff and I don't really like it that much, but I mean, if you want to get it, you could do it at your own leisure. There you go, my dudes, talent and library guide. Now you know how to get juiced out talent points and work towards it. Hope you guys enjoyed. By the way, thank you so much. Itty Witty Army ended up getting maxed out guild within two days. So thank you for that. But anyways, my dudes, I got to get back to the guide grind. Stay tuned for the next Eidolon video. Stay safe. Happy grinding and peace out.